Hello and welcome to this video on Python and Arduino serial communication. In this video we're going to learn how to write data to a file. This will allow us to save points and use them later for either plotting or other types of data analysis. We'll start off with the code that we left with in part 5. The first thing we need to do is to open a text file that we're going to be writing to because we're going to write the data that's coming off the serial bus that the Arduino reads in. To do this I'm going to create a variable called data file. I'm going to assign it the open function and pass it two parameters. The first is a string and it's going to be the file. Make sure to create your file name and use the file extension .text. The second parameter is the w character in single quotes. This signifies that we're going to be writing to a file. There are a few other parameters we can pass to, but for this video we're going to stick to just writing to a file. For example, R would be we want to read from a file. Now in the last video we went over how to determine whether we have strings or integers. I know that data gets assigned get values, and this is a string. And in order to write data to a file, you need to write it a string. It can't be an integer. I'll use datafile.write. I'm passing this function data, which is our string character that represents the information coming off the Arduino, and concatenating it with a space. Concatenation is when you combine two strings. Python will understand that the space in between the quotes is what I'm looking for, and will put a data point and a space. This way we won't have successive data points without any spaces, because we won't be able to interpret what the number is. To properly write to a file, we need to successfully open the file, add the data that we'd like to to it, and then close it. Because we're in a while true loop, it's going to indefinitely run. I'm going to use a workaround that's not the best programming practice, but will work for what we're trying to do. Instead of continuously running through this loop, we're only going to iterate through it once. We're going to write to the file, execute the other code, close the file, and then break out of the while true loop. Closing the file is simple. You just do data file dot close. To exit out of the while true loop and the program, we'll simply use break. Again, this isn't the best programming practice, but for development purposes, it's okay to use. I'll run the file so we can see the results. There's previous code here that will still print to the Python shell. It's actually good to have this information in the Python shell still when you're developing because you can compare it to the data points in the file that you write to. By default, when we write to a file, we open it and close it, it's going to be created within the directory that we ran the Python script from. Notice the file name which we created, and that was the first line of code we added in the open function. Then we have the data points. Each data point is separated by a space. And that's what we specified in the write function. I'll compare it to the data that's printed in the shell. See they match. And the last check to see that the file name lines up with what we specified. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learn more about writing to text files. This is an introductory video just to show you that you can easily write to files in Python and log your data. In future videos we'll expand on this capability and put the data in different formats that's more easy to use across different platforms. Thanks again for watching and let me know what you think in the comment section.